So we ended off our last video with our spring planting. We saw the tomatoes and lettuce and, and bok choy and kale and cauliflower and all sorts of good stuff going in that bed. Some similar stuff over in this bed. It's all planted out. All the, uh, all the irrigation is staked down now. We also finished up our pepper bed as well as our makeshift beds here with irrigation that are going to house, what again is this? That These are squash. Going to be squash. Okay, good. We're going to have some squash there. And down at this end, this side of the house is very sunny. So we did put several lettuces in here, which for the spring is going to be just fine. But by the time this gets harvested, and then we're into June and July, it's going to be way too hot and sunny here for lettuce. So then we're going to have more tomatoes and squash over here, because they really like the sun. And as we mentioned in a previous episode, we're going to take this area here close to the house, where the house shades this area over here, so this triangular area we're going to turn this into a lettuce bed. So we've got to start by weeding that stuff out of there, setting up the irrigation that we planned ahead for, and um, we're going to probably get some, some stone-type borders that look kind of snazzy and use those as the borders of the bed instead of digging holes and, and mixing up concrete and sinking 4 by 4 posts in there and screwing in the lumber. I think we're just going to go buy a bunch of those fancy brick things and, and put those as the border of the bed. So that's the plan, and we will go ahead and build a lettuce bed. Hello, so at last we are going to build the long-awaited lettuce bed that we've talked about in many episodes before. We're finally getting to it. Now we had thought it would be really nice to build the bed out of a rock not pavers, but rock retaining wall type of things. Eventually this deck that we're standing on we're going to get rid of and put some nice kind of flagstone or something on the cement foundation below the deck. But we went to Home Depot and we saw that those things were pretty darn expensive and the logistics of getting, I don't know, a thousand pounds or so of rocks here, given that we don't have a truck, we just have regular cars, seemed very time consuming and very expensive and just like an awful lot of effort. So we're going back to our, our standby wood pieces here. Now with our previous beds, we, uh, we have a friend, uh, John, who was very helpful in, in getting us set up the way that he did his beds. And we discovered though, after doing that, that it wasn't the best way for us to do things. So we're going to modify things and do it differently this time. Now we didn't decide, we couldn't make beds, oh my god, it was so much effort, oh my god, that way didn't work, therefore we're just not going to have beds. We took what we learned and we've modified things to, uh, to make it our own way. So what we have here is, we got a crow, <laughs> besides that, we've got a 2 by 10 piece. And it's two inches, really an inch and a half thick on the sides. And that's good and thick, it'll prevent the soil from bowing anything out. What we did previously is we had one by six fence boards that were less than an inch on the side and they're kind of thin and flimsy. So as a result, what we did is every three feet we had a four by four post that we sunk into the ground like a foot deep in cement. And by the time we dug all the holes and mixed up all the cement, oh my god, it was a huge amount of effort. Our friend said, hey, I'll come help you out, we'll pump it out in a weekend. Well, we got some work done that weekend, and then, you know, weeks later, it was finally done. The second year, we got an auger, automatic auger, a big, huge auger thing. <laughs> Friend helped me dig the holes out, and then we got a cement mixer, and that was really helpful. But you know what? We spent so much money on cement and, and extra lengths of 4x4s and so much uh, money renting the auger, and, and renting the cement mixer and money on cement, it was just ridiculous. So we spent a little bit extra this time on two by something sides, and this is a two by ten. So anyway, long story to say, we've got two by tens, so we've lined it up here so 
we've got, we'll screw our uh, screws through the 2x10s into our 4x4 posts. And then this part that's sticking up here will be on the bottom, and those will sink into the ground a little bit to add some stability. So we're only going to have uh, two by four posts every four to six feet because we've got nice sturdy sides. And what we've got already over here is we've got our arsenal ready. We've got our drill, and then we've got our uh, countersink tool there. And then lastly, we'll we'll screw in the screw, and it'll countersink into the wood a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and maybe we can take a look at we've got the outline of where our bed's going to go over here. So we sort of spaced out uh, roughly about where things are going to go. You can see at the very end there, we've got it squared off. We're not sure yet if we're going to square that off or it's going to come to a point. And we've got another point along the front where we've got, uh, a, a, I don't know, a 30 degree or so angle. And we're going to kind of figure that out as we go along. For first, though, we're just going to build the square part see where we are and, and take it from there. So stay tuned and you'll see us build the lettuce bed.